This is a continuation of our first video on real-time production efficiency monitoring. If you haven't seen the first video, I encourage you to watch it now uh, before taking a look at this one. Likewise, you may also find it helpful to subscribe to Abidian's YouTube channel. That way you'll be automatically notified of future videos. In the spirit of our own continuous improvement, we'd like to show you some of the, uh, the improvements made since the first video. Recall for a given production area, we had the job status and efficiencies in the upper left. Down in the lower left, we had the job details. And then you had a variety of buttons that would take you to other screens throughout the system. What we've done is revise the, uh, the layout on the left with a little bit cleaner buttons. We've also uh, color-coded some of the buttons. For example, the quality check, some people call it first article, the button is now color-coded with the, uh, the highlight. Same thing is true for help as needed on the line. We've also added uh, an update button on the job details, making it a little bit easier to go and update the, uh, the job details. Probably the biggest area of improvement is actually in the button screen. Now when you first see this, it's probably not, uh, not very aesthetically pleasing. It also doesn't blend in very well with the color scheme used throughout the rest of the, the system. What it is, though, much more than aesthetically pleasing, is functional. It's efficient. There have been a number of studies that have been done by Microsoft, the United States Air Force, to name a few, that have talked about the color coding, the size of the buttons, the labeling of the buttons, the visuals associated with the buttons, uh, their location on and on, talking about how that improves the efficiency and the effectiveness, the functionality of the system. And that's what we've done here. Let's talk a moment about the color coding. You'll notice up in the top uh, left-hand corner of most of the sections, there is a dark green. Those tend to be the default buttons for a given area. Notice also at the bottom of each section tends to be a red button. Those red buttons deal with safety or shutdown. They help shut down the system or improve the safety of the production area. There's also a blue button, set of blue buttons for quality reports and ISO work instructions. These buttons match the first article button that we saw earlier. There's also a downtime button and a scrap button. Uh, again, those are things that the operator typically needs help with. They're the same color as the operator needs help button. We've also added a number of buttons dealing with maintenance, quality department, warehouse, and even the safety button is new as well. Let's take a look at some of the, uh, the buttons themselves beginning with the logbook. If I click on the logbook, I'll be taken to another Microsoft Office product known as OneNote. OneNote is a large notebook. It's a digital notebook with various tabs and pages, very similar to what you might have in a normal notebook that you can put on the table there in front of you. Again, we're looking at the logbook uh, for line 8 in this case. There are some introductory comments here on the left-hand side. There are also some helpful links uh, to help people get started either uh, with the, the logbook or with OneNote in general. On the far right hand side I've got various pages. I click on the last page I can see the operator's entries for in this case October the 5th. Uh, the first entry there they did an online check. They found the gearbox on one of the accumulators was running hot. Maintenance is scheduled to investigate during the next changeover. Uh, right below that, there's an entry about the photo eyes. Uh, one of the photo eyes on the line becoming dirty. Might look into an alter alternative sensor, given they're having to clean it a couple of times. It goes on about uh, running into minor stops. Once they reached a certain speed, is that a opportunity for a potential Kaizen? And then a couple of uh, attaboys there at the end. Now, in addition to logbooks for each line, this one has a line 5 logbook, line 8, and line 9 logbook. There are also tabs for other departments, such as maintenance. On the maintenance tab, you might have prevented predicted maintenance procedures. You might have PM schedules, 
Uh, you might have online checks. You might have your 135 plans. On the quality tab, you might have uh, quality forms, ISO work instructions, that type of thing. On the warehouse tab, you might have a map of the warehouse showing the layout where various things are stored. You could also have a legend for color coding visuals that are used throughout the warehouse. You might also have a schedule for dock doors or even a shipping schedule. On the training tab, you might include one point lessons, instruction manuals, training videos, uh, whatever you think might be helpful in terms of getting people up to speed quickly. Uh, the ideal thing, the neat thing about this is it can be done at their own pace. And then the last tab there in uh, red is the safety tab. There you might have safety procedures, you might have uh, job safety analyses, and material safety data sheets. That concludes today's video. Again, I encourage you to subscribe to Obedience YouTube channel. That way you'll be automatically notified of future videos. You can also contact us at the telephone number and email shown on the screen. You can also visit us on the internet at abidian.com or our sister company, Abidian Institute, at abidianinstitute.com. Abidian Institute handles administrative and office uh, improvement activities. We appreciate you have a choice in selecting your continuous improvement partner. We're most grateful for your time and consideration today. We hope you have a safe and very productive day.